sometimes you need to send to uh, your specialist um, STL uh, files in order to do uh, guided surgery or sometimes simply you want to uh, be able to print out the anatomy of your patient's uh, bone for example uh, in 3D so that uh, you can show it to uh, as a good example to your colleagues or to your patients or be sure that before the surgery you have a, a, a very good mentalization very good idea of um, of what you need to do so uh, there is a common format that is called the STL file uh, which is a common 3D uh, file is done for stereo lithography uh, which the concept is to uh, have layers of resin that are uh, solidified by lasers and that enables layer after layer to build exactly the, the shape that you want so White Fox Imaging is able to generate STL files so that enables uh, anybody then to retreat these uh, files in order to uh, make um, uh, surgical guides or as I said uh, shapes of, uh, of anatomy um, this is in general as well very very simple uh, because uh, you first need to define exactly what is the area you want to uh, to export here I've uh, I've emphasized myself on the uh, mandibular although I think I could raise a little bit yes just to be sure that I'm encompassing everything yeah this is would be the, the good one um, and then I simply come in here in tools generate surface and uh, here what you have is uh, in red all the the surface that is going to be taken into account to generate your um, your surface so that means that everything that is in red is going to be generated as a surface. If I move it uh, uh, upwards uh, then I'm only selecting the hard tissues and that means that you can see that already I'm losing some definition and hopefully the shape is not going to be that great. Uh, if I'm doing reverse, if I'm selecting too much, then you see that at the end what you're going to get is the face of uh, your patient. So here there's a little bit of right setting and select the right setting uh, like this yeah it's quite good uh, and uh, once you have done that you click on export you can see that uh, you have the STL file here simply put a name and um, select the file where the the file where you want to put it and uh, the, the carpet where you want to put it and store and that will be it and uh, this demands a lot of uh, capacity of uh, processor but in general you get it that's it done